Hello guys and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be solving 734A Antoine and Nick. It's an implementation slash string problem. The problem states that Antoine likes to play chess and so does his friend Denique. They have played n games in a row and Antoine wonders who won more games, he or Denique. So we're to help him determine this. We're given our input and we're given a string. So the string contains the letters of the players, A for Antoine and D for Danique. And whichever occurs or has more frequency, for example, A has more frequency in this input, that means that Antoine won because the number of games that he actually won represents how many times the his the letter the first letter of his name appears within the string. In this case, we consider Danik won because Danik won four games here, but Antoine only won three. And then in this case, Danik won three games and Antoine won three games, so we put friendship. All right. So it's a very easy problem. Let's go ahead and solve this. I'm going to go ahead and pull up a code block and what we're going to do is uh, get in and get some includes so it's just one we'll do sdio h all right and then uh, we can just do everything in main like always and what we're going to uh, need is the number of games played so we just say uh, games uh, played all right and then also need one for uh, let's do uh, Anton's, 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 no, Anton oh, wins, and we're gonna do um, Danique's wins. So, so Danique wins. All right. So what we can do is uh, just set this to zeros for now. All right. So we can. Um, account for how many times you see your names and we might just let's just add in an index variable here so that we can loop over this all right so the next thing that we need to do is um get this in so we're gonna get scan f here and uh percent d and we gotta take in the uh, games played percent uh, games played all right now we gotta um create a char array for the characters of the names and let's just call this one um, um, I don't know um, let's call it chars All right and this is going to be a uh, game splite all right so now all we can do is just uh, get another scan F here and uh, we can take in um, those characters Gonna do percent s, and we're gonna do uh, chars. All right. So once we have that, we can uh, loop over the characters. Let's say for index, it's gonna equal to zero, and um, index is less than uh, games played um, plus plus index. All right, so I want to say that uh, if um, let's do another one, index, right? And then we can, this is all that with, this is all this with A, capital A. And if this uh, gives us a one, so if, this is a zero with a, and it's zero. We are going to go ahead and uh, not that, so it gives us a positive number. And what we're going to do for this case is uh, give Antoine um, points because he actually won that game. So we're going to say uh, Anton, actually, Anton, Anton's wins plus plus. Um, else, it should be Danik's wins. So I'm going to do else. And we're going to do plus plus uh, Danique. All right. 
So once we're done with this, what we need to do, to do is uh, check who's the winner. Um, for this, we can just do a print F here. And we can use a nested. Let's just do, rather than do multiple if statement, let's just do percent uh, S here. And oh, let's do this. So I'm gonna say that if uh, Anton's wins, um, Zor Danix wins, right? And then let's uh, go ahead and um, not this. Well, not this. So if um, Anton's wins or Danix wins is zero, and then we not that together one. So if they're the same number, then uh, let's put friendship. So we're gonna type in uh, friendship. Right, right. Then we're gonna do another nested if, or we're gonna say if uh, Antoine's wins are greater than Danix wins. And what I'm gonna do is just go ahead here and bring this down a little bit. So if Antoine's wins is greater than Danix wins, then um, we're gonna put Antoine because um, Antoine has the uh, greater score. Else, then it has the greatest score. So I'm going to say else. I'm going to type in uh, Danik. All right. And this should be it for this problem. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, copy this. And let's go to uh, Code Forces and let's paste in our answer. So copy. And go back to Code Forces. Go to the submit. And uh, we're gonna paste our code here and submit. As you guys can see, the solution was accepted. All right, guys, this will be it for this problem. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day. Bye bye.